Sup guys, it's Tenkosh, and today we are talking about sci-fi, sci-fi, and we are talking about ship layouts, uh, amount of crew, and what do you need to do with the ship, so this is a ship guide for you guys. Let's go. But before we start, a small order that you might find useful, you can actually macro the chest opening using the LD player, uh, the link will be down below in the description, and that will allow you to get way more tokens and diamonds passively without actually taking a look at the game and clicking that, will be really useful. So okay, the ships. The thing is, sometimes you feel like you know what you're doing, but it's always a good idea to take a look at the proper research and make sure that you're doing it right and fix your mistakes if you're doing them. So let's talk about each ship and uh, the best order of assigning the upgrades here. Uh, do you need to get the crew for that ship and when to evolve it and how and with what evolutions will give for the unlocked ships. So some info from the future for you. All the data will be based on my account right here, which will be useful for the most players. It's the early time when you just unlock the coils and you will actually be able to get the basic understanding, understanding of how each ship works and what to go for and when for your current and future needs. The first ship will be the Cradle. This is the most basic ship, but it's also one of the most important ones. First of all, because here you unlock the automation first for this ship. So you can get the loadout here and make it right in order to get it automated in the right way. In order to calculate ship crew and upgrades, we will use the a spreadsheet from the official sci-fi discord the link will be down below in the video description and uh, on my website page as well with all the tools for cp so okay for the first thing you need five in order to unlock the additional uh positions the additional upgrades but what's interesting though when you get five you still need more so i think seven no ten nine 10 yes once you get 10 of those after that it's even so the first thing is you get 10 of the basic upgrade over here in the middle and after that you can start investing in other things as well what's interesting based on this spreadsheet i did it wrong so you don't want to evenly distribute the points you want to totally ignore improved capacitors and go straight for printer modulization here and how much do you want to put it over here all 15 points and after that you keep going with the basic things don't not touching the fifth and second spot then you evenly invest in the um, main things in the first middle area over here all the way till you reach 10 on both things you fill them up and 25 on the central node after that you can start investing on other things as well here and uh, i think you can evenly get them to level 5 then invest 26 a bit over here oh not a bit not a bit okay 29 over here then six then six so slowly slowly investing in those things here all right so for the better comprehension we will be using the ship loadouts for the ships that we, we have them so you will understand better how it should go you put 10 points in the middle then one on each until you will reach 15 it doesn't matter where you start to be honest it's not that much of a difference then you unlock those things you put all 15 over here which is really unexpected i was expecting even distribution here as well and then you put 15 over here as well all right that's curious and after that you continue with the middle ones once again one by one until you will fill those up to 10 so let's go bam 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 good after that you go middle up to 23 for me it might be slightly different for you guys but most of us will be in the kind of same situation at this point so this is how it should go which is really cool you get 24 then you get one point in each of those then one in the middle again and just like that you will feel the rest of those points all right let's go let's go and then the rest will go in the middle because you don't have anything to do with those apply and this is the loadout that will be used automatically so you won't have to care about this ever again maybe redo it after like i don't know month of playing the game when you will get totally different stats and maybe it will change so you can use a spreadsheet to make sure it's working right i will let you know in the future videos as well so subscribe if you want to know more info now let's move on to the auxesia here kind of the same thing we have the loadout so i will show it in the loadout i won't bother you with the spreadsheet anymore uh because i mean it's more visual when you use the loadout right 
So I had the even distribution here before, but it seems with the current uh, set of upgrades and everything that we have, it's not as efficient anymore. So what do we do here? We get five over here, all right? Then we unlock those two things. You put 10 on the right. There we go. And you put five on the left. Nice. Then you put both of those to seven one by one and eight in the middle. You unlock the extra nodes and we will work on those now. And they have even values. So you go one by one until you will reach 12 on each of those. Let's go. Bam, bam, bam. All right. The good thing that you have to do it only once and after that. Oh, that's a little bit too much. Undo. Don't won't have to worry about it anymore. And now you unlock the additional nodes and I think you work on those one by one. Yeah, you get them to level 11 each. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Not like that. Not like that. One by one. One by one. <laughs> yeah. Then you put one point in those 12 ones in the top bottom one. And here you put more points into those. From here you put two points over here, then two points over here. I mean, one each. And go just like that. One point over here, one point over here. Then fill those up to 15. And those are done. You got only the middle ones left. Now you finally put one point over here. Quite late, right? And from here, evenly distributing points between those. And now, well, you have nothing else to do than to max out the middle node with the rest of the points. Next one is Zagreus. And this one is extremely important because making it right will guarantee you to get way more MP points, so let's be careful with this one. Here you start with 5 points in the middle to unlock the deja vu, then you put everything in the deja vu, so we need 10 over here, then you get 5 into the left area over here, bam, you unlock those things now, and you put 1 here, here, 1 here, here, until you reach 2 on those points, and at this point, you want to put extra point on the left, that's interesting, right? Then you put extra points over here, over here, up to 7 on the left, but after this, you put more over here, 8 and 9, so you will unlock those two things. You put points over here until you get them to level 4, one over here on the left, and now in the middle, guys, 6. After this, one point on those on the edges again, and the middle to 7, edges to 6, and middle to 8. And just like that, putting stuff in the middle and on the edges until you will fill those up. Bam. So now you're at 12 out of 50 and all those are full. Uh, from here, you would like to invest up to 20 points over here. So we will unlock the edges and other ones. And you fill those one by one to the full capacity of 10. So let's go. There we go. When you're done, you have only one thing left is to fill up the middle with the rest of the points up to 50. There we go. Apply. Zagreus. Done. Most efficient stuff to do. Now with the Hephaestus, Demeter and Koyos, I will go back to spreadsheet because I don't have the loadout unlocked, so we will have to use the spreadsheet and uh, use it manually. So right, the Hephaestus, let's go into it. So okay, you got the schematics somewhere on the screen, so you will know where to put those points. You see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and you see those numbers on the schematics as well, so you will know where to place them. So the first things first, we put 5 points in point one then three let's see one uh three four five five points in mod points obviously because those give you mod points then you work with the delivery drones i think you need them all the way to five let's see four no less three three in the drones then one in the main one bam so we put five over here then we work this one all the way i think to ten right yeah, you unlock the new things now, and from here you go to manual overkill. You put one, you put man in the manual overkill, one in the heavy duty, and just like that, you are evolving those. From here, you would like to get some in the middle again. Yep. All right, and just like that. Oh, that's interesting. Not evenly moving forward. That's unexpected. Wow, this is weird. 15, then you put 4 in the 5th point, so we here, 16, 4, eh, come on, 4 over here, 17 in the middle, 
18 in the middle, 19 in the middle. Then you got five here, all right, all right. 20 here, five here, 21, 22, 23. Oh my God, this is so unexpected. So it's, it's really complex build, basically. If you want to do it like that, to the most efficiency it, it's it's hard it's hard it takes a while <laughs> to remember all that um i advise you guys to work like that only in case if you have the automation because manually signing those will be a pain just remember the milestones basically first get the mod points then get the hardware points put those kind of evenly and you will be okay but for the automation you want it to be as effective as possible i think 30 31 oh my god 8 come on when we'll unlock more things 32 8 33 almost there 34 there we go we unlock the new things mk5 and mod points why we don't have the mod points in the priority that's weird so let's get those two three four five so we need mk5 at level one then we invest everything else in the mod points and then we work on this one all the way to the maximum of five no six seven seven all right <laughs> 35 over here then nine over here oh my god this is complex but that's math for you like that was calculated by the smart intelligence right here by the spreadsheet by the formulas here which Manually doing will be pretty annoying, but if you want the max progression and you are kinda trying to squeeze even a little bit of power over here, that will do. All right, now we finally go to that one. This is weird. So here, you want to manually do all those things. All right, 10. Oh my God, that's so, so slow. 40 come on all the way to 49 maybe 50 already there we go we're done finally so you put the rest over here it will be like 15 i think no what's the maximum here 20 maybe i don't know yeah 20 so hephaestus is done my two beats about hephaestus in game that here like it's essential to get the modification connection here way before you will buy Zagreus. So before buying Zagreus in game, you would like to buy Hephaestus when you are able to do that and put all the mod connection here to get the more mod points, get as high crew as possible and only then get the Zagreus so you will get more mod points on each tick when you will unlock the uh, loop reset, uh, no, loop field basically. All right. So yeah, that's for the Hephaestus. Now let's move on to Demeter. Demeter is weird, it's based on the mining, so it's feeling really slowly. Early on, you would like to get like five of those available and then uh, depending on the run, if you need cells, if you want to push the cell progression, I advise to go into the rare organism detection to get more cell per tick. If you are doing the normal farm run, I advise to focus more on better mineral extraction here to get more shards. If you're doing the long runs, that will be more efficient. You will get more shards, get more shard upgrades and be stronger. So that's my two cents about the personal approach. But let's take a look at the mathematical one. So, okay, same stuff. Five over here, rare organism detection, five. Okay, and after that, we totally ignore shard gains here. That's unexpected. We go to another upgrades down there, upgrading them one by one, all right, up to level four. Then we get some in shards, some over here. Oh my God, this is so complex. Why it have to be so hard? Four into the shards, five into the shards, six into the shards, seven into the shards, eight. 9 into the shards, 10 into the shards, there we go, oh my god, uh, misclick, 12, there we go, on 12 we go 6 over here and 6 over here, then we go 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, there we go, now we go to rare organism detection again, 18, 19, you put 7 in MK generators and 20, that's not enough, do you want more? Let's go, 23 maybe, 24, 24, okay. And you unlock shard lyrics. Let's see how many points do we need here. Diminishing returns kicking in at 5, 6, 
7, 8, 9, 10. So you can put all 10 points over there and continue with the better mineral extraction from that. 25, 26, 27. There we go. Then we put some over here. Then we put some over here again. 29. That's a lot of points in one area. Oh my god. 32, 33. Ah, misclick again. 33. 8 over here. There we go. 34. Then we get finally some hexagonal advantage for the mod points. I don't know why mod points are so late. Maybe the gains aren't that crazy. That's weird. Alright, so when you get two points in the mod points, you get stuff over here, three over here, 36, four into mod points, 37, five into mod points, there we go, mod points are done, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, and then you finally finish those things, working on that, 45, 47, 49, ah, some over here, all right, let's go, 8, 9, 50, there we go, we're done, you put the rest in the cells, and the rest in the ahead of curve, finally, so on the next reset, you will get more points, how many we can put here, 20, there we go, Demeter is done and yes last thing about Demeter if you just back from the long offline time like 24 hours and you want to do reset right now and you don't want to plan anymore to play anymore I advise you guys to put points into a head of curve so after reset you will get more of those uh completed operations bonuses for higher gains that's a really good idea so sometimes i have like six of those spare points and i put them right here before the reset and it's definitely worth it now the last one for today coyos uh the video is taking too long already but i hope it will be worth it guys let me know in the comments i'm trying so hard for you this one is pretty new for me so i can't advise you that much but uh, after you get the basic five points in the van hypothesis you, if you just starting out and you didn't finish all the research, that will be for a while. You don't want to put anything into the modification tennis because if you have zero completed like research, that will give you nothing. And I think the thing we will do on the simulation in the spreadsheet will count that we have zero completed research and that won't go anywhere. But as soon as you get few of those, I think it might be worth it specifically if after unlocking the research ship, you are still gaining those uh loops field pretty much that will be worth it if you don't get that many loops field at that at that point just few of those don't go for it i think it won't worth it so that's my opinion on this and that an obtainium drill will be good it will give you some shards uh, about the rest of those i'm not sure they're so far away i'm not thinking about that yet let's see what sh spreadsheet will do for us let's go five over here and obviously an obtainium drills over here because like uh yeah mod points won't give us anything it's stated in the settings of that spreadsheet that i have none of the resources completed so at five shards you keep going with the cells here all right up to level seven then you go for big brainium thesis let's go two that will give us research points five all right then you go for cells again eight nine ten eleven 12 probably at this point you would like to invest in mod points already because you will get enough uh research going and some of those will be completed so somewhere along this route you will get more and uh, you should change this layout after that because like yeah that's therefore not the right thing for us if you um if you have the mod points gains here they will be really high value all right, so then you go to the MK1, MK2, 25, I think, two over here, three over here, four over here, five over here, and then we unlock more stuff and look at that, the overclocking thesis here is really, really powerful. It's given us crazy power gain, so you definitely should invest two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 points over there so you fully complete this one and then you go for the rest of the mod points and shards and everything uh 10 there we go and then you go for the rest of the cells i think by that point by that point in the game you already will have the mod point filled up because that's a like really end game 
So yeah. Oh wow. 40, 45, 50. There we go. And then the rest go into mod points. Huh. Huh. You can get only 5. That's interesting. You got only 19 installs in the Koyas. So that's how the ships should be built. Once again, for the Koyas, once you will be able to get the Brick Branium Thesis, that will happen when you will complete some research and uh, you will fill it up. So maybe it will be soon for me because you can get the token bank capacity times two for 400 RP pretty early. That will be a cheap one. But some of those upgrades are really costly. Like uh, those cost thousands of RP, which will be unavailable for me early on. So yeah, uh, think it, think about it yourself. And like, if you feel that, that those bonuses are worth it for you, go for it. So it's like a guidance for you. You can go sideways from it, no problem. Now, let's uh, talk a little bit about the ship evolution and the crew upgrades and all that stuff. Uh, for the crew, it's obvious, get as many of those as possible that will give you the better multipliers for the evolution, since each ship give its own bonuses. You should evolve them as soon as possible, and honestly, when you get a chance to do that with the run that will be longer, maybe like additional day or two, it will be worth it because the gains, the multipliers are so crazy that like next evolution will, what's that like, uh, 10, more than 10 times, 15 times more, 20 times more or something gains. So that's really, really powerful. Although getting that crew will take a while and getting those uh, required things that sells they will be expensive so you won't be able to do that pre pretty often in order to help you to do the evolution for example you got enough crew and you're taking a look over here and it's really costly you might want to consider investing some in the uh those cradle cost points in the mod tree those will make evolution way cheaper so sometimes it's worth it or invest into more gains for resources so you will get more sales so yeah guys, uh, after some point in the late late game, I'm not there yet, you might want to get the top ships before that, that will give you mod points gains before you will run the Zaggers, but in most situations early game, you want to get uh, Cradle, Auxessia, then skip Zaggers, get Hephaestus, put Hephaestus uh, mod point uh, modification connection here for the mod points gain, max it out, get the maximum crew for this, run the Demeter so it will start getting the shards, maybe get hexagonal advantage if you have it already, but most likely not, and then get the Zagros, and then from that go slowly to whatever route you would like, and even if, if you have the automation, try to get those uh, 5 points here and 10 points here and full crew as soon as possible, because that will give you higher MP gain for your run. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope this information was useful for you. Once again, the link to the calculator and other useful uh, ICEP tools will be in the video description. You can go to my website, you can go to the calculator straight. You can get the LD player so you can automate the macro of getting the chest that will give you crazy, crazy progress boost, guys. You will be glad that you did it. And you can check the video description for more CFI guides for my other YouTube channels, my social media, Discord, that kind of stuff. And please, like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. That's about it for now. Stand Kosh out. Have a good one. 